Hello, my cookies. Welcome. Welcome to Russell Cooks. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I have shrimp and lettuce tacos. They're going to be fantastic. We're going to make a few little toppings here and there. I'm flying from the hip. No recipe, no notes. We're just going old school, just cooking, having fun. I'm going to try and make some pickled mango and a little topping on top. So I'm also going to grill them. So we're going to take them out and uh, yeah, flavorful shrimp flavorful topping, crunchy lettuce. First things first, gather our ingredients. You are gonna need a whole bunch, about a pound, pound and a half, depending on how many people you are serving, of peeled, large, extra large jumbo shrimp. You are also going to need some skewers. Metal skewers are great for the grill. Um, you can also use wooden. Make sure to soak the wooden ones first, all right? So I got my shrimp rinsed, patted dry, for our little kind of sour cream crema, you're gonna need some sour cream and a lime. Also, another lime for serving, ain't bad. For the shrimp, I'm gonna put some Aleppo. You can just use chili powder if you want. You're gonna want between two and three teaspoons, so between two teaspoons and one tablespoon of spice mixture. So ground coriander, ground cumin, chipotle in adobo, it's already diced up for me. You can find it canned. Dice it up there too. A little bit of garlic, olive oil. For the pickles, I am gonna be using some white wine vinegar, typically red wine vinegar if you're doing like onions and jalapenos. You can absolutely throw in some sliced jalapenos if you want. Mango, a third cup granulated sugar. Scallions, lettuce, whatever lettuce you want. Boston bib is great. Big leaves. Romaine is also great. This is a little bit more crunchy. Don't get romaine hearts. Those leaves tend to be a little bit tiny, not as big. You want these big outside leaves. Make sure to wash them beforehand. Cilantro. So now that we got our ingredients, let's get cooking. First things first, let's make this a really simple lime crema. They come in these nice squeeze pouches now. I feel like it lasts longer and it's easier to measure. I'm just gonna do half a cup. I'm get my zesty. I'm just gonna do about half a lime of zest here. And then I'm gonna do some juice. We're gonna mix this up and we're done. We're done. Now I'm not gonna put salt in here. I don't necessarily want this to be a salty bite. I'm gonna season everything else elsewhere. All right, set this aside. Now let's start with the mango pickles. I am going to use white wine vinegar here and I'm going to put about a half a cup in. Put a third cup of granulated sugar in. And I'm going to do this on the microwave. You can do this on the stove top, all you want. Just going to stir it up, heat it up in the microwave. You pretty much want it up to 200 degrees. You want the sugar to completely dissolve and you want it hot because we're going to pour it over the mango. While that is heating up, let's get our mango. Sliced and diced and all nice. Get a really nice, ripe, but firm mango cutter day two. Gonna clear off these edges, take this down as close to the skin as I can. Slide it out like that, oh yeah. I'm gonna cut some small cubes here, so maybe a quarter inch. I'm gonna get them in this bowl. There's my vinegar and sugar mixture. Nice and hot, it's steaming. And it looks like the majority of the sugar is dissolved here. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a stir. This is hot. I'm just gonna pour this over my mango and I'm just gonna let it sit no more than maybe 30 minutes. Set that aside. Let's chop up some cilantro. Let's get ahead on the mise here. We are now going to be finishing up these shrimp. We're gonna to be tossing them with some oil and some nicely flavored spices here. I am gonna do too close to garlic here. I'm gonna use a garlic mincer, no judgments, please. Yes, I could use a knife, but I like this garlic mincer. I like using it. As I said before, you can just use a regular chili powder if you like. I am gonna be kind of making my own. So ground cumin, one and a quarter teaspoons. Coriander, I'm gonna be doing about one and a half teaspoons. And my Aleppo. Depends on your spice tolerance. I am gonna be putting a spicy topping on, a secret little spicy topping. So I'm doing about three quarters of a teaspoon of Aleppo. I love the peppery depth, the mild spice. Mm. And finally my chipotle chili and adobo. It's gonna add a little bit of smokiness, a little bit more spice. I'm gonna be doing three quarters of a teaspoon. Now it's time for the oil. I'm gonna add two tablespoons. Now it's time 
for the shrimp. We are flying. This is a quick dish. Everyone's like, oh, it takes so long. Nah, the only thing that really takes long is the prep, and that's like 15 minutes. Give this a little quick mix here. I got some peeled devein jumbo shrimp, about one and a half pounds. I have peeled, deveined, rinsed, and then the paper towel here just to get any excess moisture off of them. You want them pretty dry. I got my grill going, so we're gonna step out in a little bit after we get them skewered up. So I'm going to skewer these up now. I like to go through a little bit, maybe two thirds of the way up and I stick my skewer and then I like to alternate. So I got the tail on this side. I'm gonna put the tail on that side. I'm gonna get them as close together as I can. I'm not gonna need all these skewers. Remember, wooden, bamboo, soak them. But I'm gonna try and do eight per skewer. Let's get them close. I'm gonna head on out and I'm gonna grill these. So I got my grill preheated. I'm just gonna clean and oil the cooking grate. You don't really need to worry too much about it because remember these are coated in oil, but I'm, I want everything to stick to these guys and not the grill grates. So I have my sear station going. It should only take a couple minutes per side. All right, let's head on out to the grill. Here we are, we're outside. I got my sear station on. I'm just gonna give it a nice little scrub again. Let's get these skewers on. Perfect. About two minutes aside. Inspect all angles of it. My wood hasn't got on fire yet, that's good. I'm just gonna close it down for a second. Getting there, getting close. Here we go, we're done. Turn your grill off. I always turn my grill off first, so I don't forget. Oh, yes. All right. Easy. Easy, easy. Let's head back in. I feel like you guys are here with me. You're like in my kitchen with me. <laughs> All right. Look at this. We got some nice char. We got some cilantro. We got our crema. I got a piece of Boston bib. We got a pickle mango. I do want some scallion. I'm just gonna mince up a scallion real quick. You know what, I'm just gonna put my scallion in with my cilantro and here we go. Let's plate it up. So I'm gonna get the shrimp off of here. Get them on here. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I'm gonna make one for Mrs. R. Cooks. Now I'm gonna do one for myself over here. Let's get our pickled mango. I'm gonna put a little bit on here. Next up, get a little bit of this crema, get a little bit of this cilantro, and scallion mixture. Oh uh, yes, look at that. I love this, this looks amazing. Ooh, wait, I almost forgot. <laughs> I got a surprise ingredient. Now don't call me crazy. I mean, I'm crazy, but I got some flaming Hot Cheetos. Here's a nice little color. Here's a nice little crunch. Give me another piece of shrimp here so I can put it on the edge. So people know the shrimp. Let me give this one to my wife first. Mm. Oh my God. That is so good. Oh, ho, ho. I am actually gonna transfer this onto the romaine. Mm. Just sturdier. Yeah, first off, you get a little bit of that lettuce. Great vegetal start. And then boom, shrimp hits you. The mango comes in with that little tartness. You get a little bit of that allium flavor from um, the scallions. Cilantro right there. And then boom, that coating on the shrimp just hits you. And the spice just builds from the start to the finish. It's like a roller coaster. It's just starting to ramp up. And then right at the end, boom, you are gone and good. This is... Amazing. Let's do it again. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you like what you saw, don't forget, you can check me out on YouTube. I also stream on Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Take care.